Surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers, the believers and thinkers, but most of all, surround yourself with those who see the greatness within you, even when you don't see it yourself. Even though I'm not sure who said that, it is a quote I felt deeply while working on this children's illustration project. My task in this project was to create a series of children's illustrations to a list of stories given to me by a team at a children's TV channel. Initially, I was very, very nervous for a number of reasons. I had never worked with a TV channel before, and my style of art is very different from the cute, cuddly illustrations I see in children's books. I had no idea what I was doing, and I had no confidence that I could do it. After much discussion with my family and friends, the reason I took up this project was their encouragement, support and the patience. They believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. This drawing was a part of that series and it was a story about a royal Tusker who was influenced by the people around him. Once upon a time in India, there was a royal Tusker belonging to the king. He lived in the royal courtyard. He was treated very kindly by the Manuds and he wore very beautiful royal jewels. The Tusker was a very calm and friendly one. Over a period of months, however, the Manuds noted a change in his behaviour. He had become very angry and aggressive. He would break the water buckets and throw away the fruits given to him. The Manodes were very surprised with this. They informed the king. The king was also surprised. He asked his chief advisor to investigate this. The chief advisor investigated and noted that at night, a group of thieves gather near where the royal Tusker was, and they used very foul, violent language. They were angry towards each other and were demeaning one another. Hearing these conversations all through the night, and also over the period of time, inevitably distressed the Tusker. The chief advisor advised the king to move the royal Tusker and also help to catch the thieves. Just like the royal Tusker in this story, there have been times in the past where I also have been affected by the negative people around me. There have been times when I felt very discouraged, demeaned and even humiliated for simply being me. And I'm sure you have too. Over time, I have started to be very selective and careful about my associations, in real life as well as on social media, especially on social media, and also to be kind to myself when I don't always get it right. While I shy away from social media and the negativity there, I embrace the creative, positive, goal-oriented, dream-believing, action-taking group of people that truly inspire me especially in these dark winter days.